the bare dark sky observatory in Yancey County sits more than 2,700 feet above sea level. It's in a remote location a few miles from Burnsville. Once the roof is removed and the sky darkens to the deepest black available for miles, that's when a 34-inch super telescope named SAMSCOPE gets an unobstructed view. I mean, think about it. A, a small rural area up here having the largest telescope in the state, one of two international dark skies in the southeast, is pretty incredible. There's an international dark sky society, and we had to go through measurements, we had to go through photography, we had to go through a, a very lengthy process, and we have to go back through it every year. To get the dark sky certification, Malin Community College takes an active role in reducing what the Dark Sky Association calls light pollution, artificial lighting that alters the natural environment and visibility of the nighttime sky. The impressive SAM telescope is not an ingredient for a dark sky designation. The telescope merely thrives in it. A lot of your universities have, have telescopes, but most of those are designed around research. They're really not meant for the public. This is not a research telescope, and in fact, uh, a lot of people are surprised that we have this size of telescope out here, and it's not designed around research. It's designed for viewing and the design for the community. The community college already operates and maintains the telescope. It is the central piece of Earth to Sky Park, an environmental science facility due for completion in the next few years, but already attracting business and tourism to Yancey County. We believe very strongly that it's important on a, on a community development that we bring people into the area where they're eating at our restaurants, they're shopping in our stores, they're staying in our hotels. They come to love the area and want to come back over and over again. Funding for the SAMSCOPE and the Bear Dark Sky Observatory got some heavy help from the Samuel Phillips Family Foundation and from Warren Bear. The observatory is managed by Warren Bear's son, Jeremy, who grew up enjoying astronomy with his father. Uh, we'll look at planetary nebulas sometimes. Uh, you can see details in things like galaxies and stuff like that that you just can't see in a smaller telescope. Uh, a planetary nebula is when a red giant star has turned into a white dwarf star and it's shed this extra gas and then the uh, radiation from the white dwarf is causing that gas to get excited and actually glow. So you're seeing a big glowing gas ball. Groups are limited to no more than 20 stargazers at a time for the best experience. But once the park is complete and some continued additions to the observatory are in place, this destination will be able to entertain and educate a much larger audience. We're going to have a nice gardens around here. We've got five pads set out outside. So when we have bigger events, we can have seven telescopes operating here at one time. So people can kind of rotate around to it. We're going to have the planetarium down below, uh, a 63-seat planetarium that will be coming in the next couple years. We'll have an aquaponics, a hydroponics operation. It's really, truly meant to be an, uh, an environmental experience when people come.